Ladies and gentlemen, in true fashion and form, I'm going to reveal yet another mystery that was placed, strategically placed, and very subtly placed in the Bible. Like so many things that the Lord has done, He has placed little clues all throughout scriptures. There's so many things, incredible things, hidden within the context of the Holy Word. And this is just one of many hidden things as I've shown. There's so many things that I've revealed, new things that were always there to be seen and understood, but yet no one has, had been able to reveal them in the manner in which I have. And this is the, this is the true goal of a prophet of God. To reveal the things of the Holy Word, the things that were always there but simply not seen and not understood. So we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Very important. Now, what I want to emphasize here is that Scripture teaches us that God is the Word. <clears throat> and unfortunately, many people associate that to only the Bible. But Scripture also says that no thing is created except by God. So the takeaway here is that God is the living word. Remember what it says, that he that is in me is greater than he that is in this world. And when he says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Many times things, people are speaking the words of God and they don't even realize it. They are prophesying and they don't even realize that they are prophesying. So I want to remind you of what Revelation 17, 15 says, that the waters which thou sawest were the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. We're not looking for literal waters. This is what the waters actually represent, and tongues represents the language that is being used. So when you go to Matthew 24, verse 37, it states, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So there was a flood in the days of Noah as it relates to the waters. The waters overtook the populace of the world. The waters, living waters, overtook the populace of the world in Noah's day. And what we're witnessing is the second flood. Because if you've not paid attention, <coughs> there's no mistake that this movement is called the woke. The woke movement Understand, there are two sides to this woke movement. There's the right side and there's the wrong side. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We shall not all sleep. So do you understand this woke movement? Do you understand what it means to be a, a, wake. A, wake. To stop sleeping, wake up from your sleep. Understand, this is no mistake. The definition of a boat wake is the wave of water resulting from the passage of the boat's, boat's hull through the water. There's no mistake. 
in all of these things, having the names in which they have. The waters are the peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Absolutely no mistake. Now you understand, in true form and fashion, the mystery has been solved. The mystery, like many of the other mysteries I've solved in these days, has been revealed. And what it means that we shall not all sleep. That is why this is called the woke movement and what it means to be awake in its relationship to waters. Its relationship to waters and the waves. The waves that are occurring in these days. But also, I'm sure all of you have always uh, have attended what's called a wake. It is a ceremony when somebody has passed away. The wake is also a ceremony when somebody has passed away, part of a funeral session ceremony. First Thessalonians four sixteen is just one of. A few places for the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first see that there are three floods there are three floods that occur three ladies and gentlemen not two, not just one, but three. The dead in Christ shall rise. Understand what it means to have a wake and how the dead in Christ shall rise first. Those rising waters will occur three times. We're living in the second flood in these days. And the third flood will come at the end of the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. None of these things are a mistake. Understand that. God is the living waters. Not just the Bible. He speaks through us. And many don't even realize that he's speaking through us. No thing is created except through God. Know what it means to be awake and know what awake is in its relationship to the waters. Revelation seventeen fifteen. Know what awake is. It's a ceremony when somebody has died and know what it means for the dead in Christ shall rise first. Absolutely incredible. God bless.